into this ink project now. As you can see, the fork is completely covered in ink and Ali has applied a clear coat to this for me. Um, so this will now need a flat back and a relacquer um, because the inks are quite bumpy underneath here and we want to get that nice and smooth. I'm quite far along with the frame but I still have some areas left to do so I thought I'd stick on a head cam, take you up a little bit closer and see how I have achieved this result using the alcohol inks and the alcohol blending solution. So let's not waste any more time, have a little bit of fun, get a little bit messy and we'll see how it turns out. I have all my ink colours here ready to go. I also have some blending solution in this jam jar here with some paint brushes and also a blending solution in the bottle. Um, the frame, before I applied the alcohol inks, we had um, prepped and primed the frame as well as put down a base coat and in this instance we've used a base white. The top side of this down tube is now complete but if we flip it upside down, you will be able to see that we have some runs underneath. This is because um, the alcohol ink needs a blending solution to make it all blend together and that's quite liquid so it will run round a curved surface so don't be put off by this it can be we can make those disappear even at this stage after this ink has dried because i did this actually last night um, so that ink has now dried but we can use the blending solution blend these out add some more color on top and achieve the same result that we have here so um, i will take you through uh, this side and then we'll move on to the seat tube and the rear stays. I'm going to start by blending out some of these run areas by using a paintbrush and some alcohol solution that I have here in this jar. So I'm just gonna get a brush and um, just move these around using the paintbrush to make them a less obvious run. So I'm just going to go around and also by doing this I'm putting some uh, blending solution onto the frame which will help the ink move around a little bit more freer. So I'm just going to use this here, a little bit more up here. You may find that your blending solution, because we're working on the curved surface, might start running down towards the work that we've already done. Um, don't worry too much if that happens, but if you can chase it back at this stage, that would be good because otherwise the run will go up onto the stuff that you've already achieved. But um, that can be dealt with in exactly the same way that we're doing here. So I have some black and some blue in my palette here, already diluted with a little bit of alcohol. Um, so it will move a bit more freer around the frame as well. I'm gonna dab a bit on my brush, dab it onto the frame in a couple of places and then use some air to puff it around and just just keep adding adding more until you've got the desired effect you can see that is quite um dilute so what you can do also is um, build up the color with it diluted but you can also put the ink directly on from the bottle um, but like this is working well here so I'm just going to keep adding some black and I'm now so you can see that bit running down there but I've just puffed that and that's kind of caught it in its track so that's good now I'm gonna add some blue next to the black and same thing puff it around and get these edges here. A bit more. You can add a bit more alcohol. So this black here is quite concentrate. So I'm gonna add just some pure alcohol on there. Blur it out a little bit. And that I think is looking pretty good so I'm just gonna use my brush with some alcohol solution on just to lose 
these, um, call them spider legs. I don't know whether that's the correct term, but to lose those, because when I blow the air, sometimes the air makes these little spider leg bits. And just chase them out, blend it through. And you can add more blending solution and blow a bit more and that will get you a more, um, like the colors merging together a bit more. But on this frame, kind of gone with this look where it, where you can see it's quite blown and and the colors are quite concentrate and dark. Oops, dropping stuff. A few runs before and now you can see they've come round on the side. So we're just gonna move the frame in our stand. Move it up so I'm working on a flatter surface. Come round and do the same process that I've just done on this part here where these runs are. Okay, so I'm going to start with my brush. like magic and there we are the runs that we had earlier have all disappeared once this is clear coated it looks completely different as well at the moment the reflection's quite bumpy so you can't really see the true effect until it's battled but we are getting there
condor frame. Um, we're now ready to lacquer, but we've got to let these uh, alcohol inks um, dry off for at least 24 hours that will allow any alcohol to evaporate out and then hopefully we won't get any problems with the clear. Um, if you've done any of this before it'd be great to hear how you've done it. If you've got any tips for me please leave a comment. If you've enjoyed this video also please leave a comment. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully see you again soon.